for this video creator, Jason Matthew Glass, and for this claimant of his correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, knowledge, is with the rule equal and with the rule one of the maintenance, with the grace and with the honor of the balance, with the neutrality and with the peace of his position, with the facts of his claim, with his cognition, by this Jason Matthew Glass and claimant's sensation. Period. In this video, I'm just going to talk about a few general grammar things that people do every day using plain, simple, colloquial English. And in turn, this will translate into correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar, and if you choose to use uh, that technology uh, on your own. So if we really think about the way we, the habits we have, the grammatical habits, linguistic communication habits that we have when we speak to someone else. Like if someone wants to ask someone else a question, they'll say something like, can I ask you a question? And if you take that literally, what, what are you, you're asking the person if, if you can ask a question. Like anyone can ask someone a question. Why do you have to ask if you can ask a question? Something as silly as that, but it's very subtle. Or just like someone can negate a compliment by saying the word but or however. And I, I'm certainly guilty of this one. Where you can say, you know, this, this is a really, really awesome idea. I love this idea. But, and then as soon as you say but, you have just zeroed out what you just, the compliment you just said. And now you're going to go into the cr criticism. What I try to do as a communicator and as steward of my grammar is I really try hard to get away from that. Those types of things. I really try to get away from the passive-aggressive um, criticism. And just if I'm going to criticize someone, I'm just going to come out and do it. Um, I'm not going to ask someone if I can ask them a question. I know it's one thing that, uh, <laughs> it's one thing that, that used to really bother me is when people would try to do what you call buttering someone up before you ask them a question. Uh, my children do this all the time and I'm trying to get them out of the habit where they'll they'll start giving me compliments or saying this or that and then they'll finally come to the question that they want to ask me or the, or they'll say something like hey I want to ask you a question ah no I shouldn't ask you a question and then it's like they're like building something up to try and get me to be in a more positive mindset or more sympathetic would be a better word, mindset, to give them the answer that they think they want. And I've seen everyone do this. What I've found also in written communication, and this is exactly why I don't, I prefer not to address grammar in YouTube comments or Instagram comments or, or any social media comments section. And it's because words when written down in plain, simple English, they're just open to interpretation and people can get really butthurt if someone is straightforward with them. They can be hurt um, somehow. Like, what's a good way to say this? They're offended. They can be offended by it. And Lord, <laughs> Lord knows today people are, just seem to be looking for a reason to be offended. In correct sentence structure, this is not the case. When you write a correct sentence structure, it is what it is if it's correct. Now, I've had people email me or ask me a question in plain, simple English. And anyone who has ever emailed me knows that all of my emails are written in correct sentence structure. I also translate into plain, simple English. My theory is, when I started this years ago, was that if... I'm going to claim to be a correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar tutor, then I better freaking use this stuff every single day, just like it's a language I can pull out, like someone who's bilingual that knows English and Spanish, they can pull either one of them out of the hat and use it, bam, right there on the spot. Because if I can't do that, then I don't have any business claiming to be a grammar tutor. So anyone else out there, you can use that. 
you're more than welcome to. I give you my permission to use that as a measuring stick. If someone out there is claiming to be some sort of authority on correct grammar uh, or some sort of tutor, challenge them. Say, show me. Show me the knowledge. Show me that you can use it on the spot, right here, right now. And if they cannot do that, well then, it's just an opinion of what they're claiming. It's not a fact. So I digress. So that's the way I write my emails. And what I've found is when I reply to certain people that way, they get offended. They think that I'm being harsh with them. When what I'm doing is just being straightforward and blunt with my facts. And that's what I've found, even using plain, simple, colloquial English, that if you are straightforward and blunt with someone, it can be construed as you're being harsh with them. Like they say, the truth hurts. Now, I'm not talking about using the, the truth as a weapon to actually hurt someone, which you can tell the truth to someone and really hurt them in a malicious way. That is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about, if someone is asking me a question, okay, here, here's an example, perfect example, and it's a real example. I tell people, I am a correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar tutor. That's my public claim, grammar tutor. If you have a question about the grammar, or if you want to apply for my confidential workshops, email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Those are the terms and conditions for my email contract vessel. Without fail, people will email me asking me about claim of the live life, asking me about their court cases. I'm getting a divorce. I have a DUI. I'm having a child custody battle. My house is getting taken away. Blah, 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 the other, this, that, and the other thing. Now, either these people have not watched any of my videos or they've watched them and they're not listening to them because I've made it very clear that there are two things that that email inbox is used for grammar questions, and applying for workshops. So then I will correspond back using a word I call kuleana and in correct sentence structure and clarify to them that if you have any grammar questions, I'm happy to answer them. But I don't do these other things. They're not on the table. These are my terms and conditions. And then some of these people will get angry and get offended and be like, well, I just asked a simple question. Or you should be helping people. This is what you should be doing. You know, they'll invariably either either get offended and get angry or start telling me what I should or shouldn't do with my now space. And I can tell right off the bat that those are the types of people with my knowledge that are not ready to learn correct sentence structure because they're not ready to give up their habit of trespassing upon others without knowledge. And that's what it is. It's a trespass. When you try to tell someone else what they should or shouldn't do, it is a trespass. And if they're going to get offended for me being straightforward with them, well, then perhaps they don't have the constitution or the metal, M-E-T-T-L-E, to be able to use correct sentence structure in a now space scenario. Because that's when it boils down to, I think what most people are after when they want to learn this grammar is they want to be able to use this in any scenario. And I will do that with some of my more advanced students as well. Uh, we will, just like, you know, when you're in martial arts, you get in and, and you start practicing the techniques that you have, like in boxing or Muay Thai or Jiu Jitsu, you get in there and you do full contact sparring like full out, like a real fight, but with protective gear. And you're hitting full blast. And that, that's kind of like what I do in the training sessions. I'll put the student on the spot and the student will choke up and, and won't be able to answer the questions or, or remain calm. And then I always say, well, if you're not able to remain calm in a situation in a mock scenario like this, do you really think that you're going to be able to do this in public with a, a Vasily, a police officer, a judge, a prosecutor, 
FBI agent, whatever it is. Are you, do you think you're really going to be able to, to perform then if you can't do it now? And these are things that perhaps people don't think about. But this is all where the grammar comes in. How we use our terms in plain English and with correct sentence structure. Staying away from the trespass, speaking plainly, keeping to the facts, keeping everything as simple as we possibly can. Thank you for watching this video and listening to me. I appreciate your viewership. If you have any grammar questions or if you wish to apply for a workshop, you can contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks again.